Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is December, and I actually was able to take several cultivating contracts, which is the first time I've seen that, because usually uh, you can't do contracts in the winter months. Uh, but since it's going to let me do it, and since it's easy-peasy cultivating contracts, I mean, there's, we're not going to make a ton of money, but, you know, we'll make enough money to pay for repairs and gas and stuff like that. Uh, I figured we'd do it, and I'd also bring you back and show you that. Uh, incidentally, I was looking through my finances, and I forgot to pay my pallet moving worker in October because, uh, yeah, I would have paid him there. So let's get him paid now. we got to keep that guy happy or he won't work for us anymore. Uh, so this is for October's um, payment. Now, in real life, of course, I, <laughs> I wouldn't have forgotten in the first place, but or, or he would have reminded me way before then. But, yeah, that's just what that's from. And in fact, you know what? Let's um, let's just pay the pallet worker for this month too, um. So it's a done deal, and I don't forget. So yeah, we have sixty four hundred dollars coming out now for both of those. Uh, all right. So I did a couple more cultivating contracts in November too that came up right at the very end of the month, and I did a little more repairing and refueling uh, of my um vehicles. So other than that, yeah, nothing else really happened in November. So what I'm going to do in December, we have a little bit of, um, we have some farmyard chores to do as well as these contracts. So what we need to do is I'm going to actually top off the cows here. And, um, I, I think we said we were going to let the milk uh, build up here. So yeah, we'll do that. And uh, we might top their straw off too. We'll see. And then chickens, chickens are actually in pretty good shape. I don't think we need to do anything with chickens. So we've got to take care of the cows, just get them topped off. And then for the greenhouses, I want to top off the water and the manure in each one of our greenhouses. And then we'll have some eggs to pick up too. Okay, so let's um, let's get those the cultivating and all those chores done. As far as any other sales, um, eggs are actually going back down so yeah we're done selling eggs for now milk is has dropped wow milk has dropped significantly because it was really high in december but we're going to wait until january for the milk anyway and then of course the silage uh we will be selling in january if we do decide to sell some straw oh that dropped back down too because um when we looked at this in the last episode december was the best month so january is now the best month for straw i don't have enough hay to where i would want to sell any of it uh, butter and cheese is back up again in January. We might as well sell both of, you know, whatever we have on hand. We won't make a ton of money, but we'll sell it anyway. Uh, speaking of which, is there still milk in the dairy? Yeah, there's still a little bit of milk in the dairy, so we'll let that uh, continue on there. Okay, so let's get this call, uh, the cultivating and the chores done. I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to know That I'm lost without you I'm not without you I hope I can show What you mean to me Cause I don't know what to do if you go ooh, ooh, ooh. I just don't So selfish, I made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. I take you places that you've never been. I would give you the world if you let me try again. Yeah, just give me one more chance. I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I Show what you mean to me Cause I don't know what 
Oh, this is OG. Well, hello, Mama Joe. How are you today? Good, good. So, uh, we plan on a Christmas dinner again here in December. That sounds fantastic. Okay, yeah, I'll bring the uh, I'll bring the mashed taters and uh, some apple pie. How's that sound? Uh, no, you. Oh, you want me to bring some strawberry pie because of all the strawberries? Okay, I can bring some strawberry pie. Sure, you bet. I'll just have to, you know, look it up on how to make it on Betty Crocker. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what can I do for you, Mama Joe? It's good to hear from you. It's been a little while since we've, uh, we've spoken. You... Oh, okay, so you, you're you ready to, uh, put your restaurant and your convenience store in, both of them. You've had a, a really good year with the farmer's market, and you've been able to, uh, uh save the money up, uh, actually over the last two years. Gotcha, okay, and you're ready for both of those to go in, and you're just wanting to know if, um... Now is a good time to uh, bring Delbert over here and get all that stuff built. And yeah, I'd, I'd say so, Mama Joe. Absolutely. Have at it. And uh, looking forward to uh, seeing uh, those new uh, businesses on the property. It should look nice. One more th- oh, one more thing. Oh, you want to uh, you want to see if uh, Larry the landscaper can come over and, and put some of the flowers on the outside of the fence, too, along the road. and think it'll look nicer. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good idea, too. How is that Larry the Landscaper, by the way? I haven't heard from him in a long time. He's he's a little bit irritated with me? Why is that? Oh, because I no longer screw up and and mess up other people's fields so he doesn't have as much business as he used to? <laughs> that's, that's too bad. Maybe Larry the Landscaper needs to start a YouTube channel uh, for landscaping or something. Okay, that sounds good, Mama Joe. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you at Christmas, too. Okay, bye-bye. All right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. We haven't done any role play in a while, so yeah, I thought it was time to do some role play. So, um, if you've been watching the series all along, you know that it has been in the plans for Mama Joe, not me, but Mama Joe, uh, to put in a couple of more sell points over here uh, next to her farmer's market. Um, so, we're going to do that now. And how that's actually going to benefit us is that, you know, it gives us a couple more sell points uh, for for several different products. So Mama Jo uh, wants to put in a, a restaurant here and also a little uh, convenience mart. And um, Mama Jo <laughs> um, also thinks that the, the little flowers and shrubs and stuff that we have along the fence out here would probably also look good on this side. Uh, along the road too and i tend to agree with her so here's what we're going to do um get out of here go you go now stupid drivers um so i'm going to basically here hold on a sec actually i'll just use my phone i'm going to write down that we have seventy-seven thousand one hundred thirty-four dollars. i'm going to put that in a note here on my phone Because rather than try and, you know, do all the math, I'm just going to do everything we need to do. And then when it's all said and done, set my money back to $77,134. It'll just be easier that way. Okay. So, 
Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the admin menu and I'm just going to give myself a million dollars temporarily uh, so we have enough money uh, to make all this happen. Okay, good. So um, let's see. I think I'm going to stand over here and let's get into the build menu. And why don't we work on the landscaping stuff first? So I think what I'd like to do is um, let's set, let's just kind of do a strip along the fence here that's kind of more dirt looking and not so grass looking because then we're going to put shrubs and, and whatnot in there. Um, and I want to see if I can get my screen lined up. That's pretty close. Actually, you know what? I think I, I want to get rid of all of this grass. So let's increase the size of this. I don't really want to necessarily get rid of the gravel that's there. Let's just kind of go along like this. Now, why is that turning to gravel? I don't know. Well, that just got rid of the gravel. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why that's... That turned to gravel. That's kind of weird. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing along here. Probably right to about there-ish. Oh, actually, yeah, we can't paint beyond that anyways because that's the, the actual border there. All right, well, if that's the case, we should probably put this... Oh, man. Back to that, and now let's redo this if we can. Make that smaller. Okay, that looks okay. I went a little too far this way, too. So let's go with that. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to plants. And I'm just going to put some shrubs in. Kind of more or less in the same place that they are on the other side. Except for these, I'm going to make a little longer. Shrubs by the entrance there. Doesn't have to match the other side perfectly, but sort of kind of close. Put a few shrubs there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll put uh, yellow flowers in. Oh, you know what might look cool, actually, is put the orange flowers in, you know, kind of a... What's the word? Contrast them or something? You know what I mean, right? Except for I should have put yellow flowers there. Okay, and then we'll put the yellow flowers here. That looks nice. Those should be yellow. There we go. Um, we got a little far out there, but you know what? That's okay. It doesn't have to look absolutely perfectly manicured. It looks just natural. I like it. I've been actually meaning to do that for a while, too, but this was a good opportunity uh, for us to get it done. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. Um, let's save the game before we start doing any of the really expensive stuff. Um, there's actually a mod, too, that I noticed that you can install that will give you a lot more time to pick up a building that you place down and get all of your money back. Um, because in the base game here, you only have, like, literally a couple of seconds to pick it back up. Um, well, yeah, it, I, I, I think it's less than a minute, put it that way, um, or no more than that anyway. Okay, so I'm going to just get mostly lined up. Okay, so what Mama Jo wants is she wants a restaurant and she wants a little mini mart. So this is the supermarket here. And we do have to be um, cognizant of 
where, you know, how we're going to drop things off. Um, and actually, in this particular case, it would work best to turn the store this way. And then we can just back right in to the drop-off point there. So I like that. All right, so we're going to do that. Now, I want the front of the store to be mostly lined up. Well, actually, it might be better to hold it back a little bit and line the posts up with the other one. Let me see if I can twist my screen just one more pixel to the right. Okay. And that's where we want that. Right about there. Okay, cool. So that is Mama Joe's little... It says supermarket, but it's really more like a convenience store, I would say. Um... Actually, you know what? Here, can I get my full money back on that? Here, let's uh, yeah, let's get all the money back on it for a second. We should probably create a driveway into here, too. That would seem to make sense, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that means I want to uh, decoration. Oh man, can I not? pick these fences up it isn't giving me the option to to remove the fence that doesn't make sense man there's there's some things in this game that just don't make sense why why can I not pick up a fence that I put down you know pick it back up but I can't oh that sucks I'm gonna have to get the the farm farming simulator editor uh, and get that installed and figure out how to use it because that would let me remove stuff you know that uh, you otherwise couldn't okay well it is what it is I guess we can't do anything about that right now so we're just gonna go with um, with things the way they are guys I don't have much choice at this point uh, what I might do though is I might hold this over this way a little bit more um, so that if I do get the editor later we can we can create like a little driveway into there so I'm thinking probably right about here is good. All right, so let's see if we can get line straightened back up here just a little bit. It's really hard to get it perfectly straight. And then we'll hold it over to there. Yeah, maybe even to there. Okay, now let's quickly. So there's a, there's a pizzeria and then there's just a restaurant. And it looks like I don't know if they both all take the same things or not it's kind of hard to tell I, it seems to me like the restaurant takes more than the pizzeria does which would make yeah it does okay so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do the restaurant now again um is it gonna look good if we put it this way because then it'll put the load spot yeah because then people could sit out on the on the deck while they're eating their their dinner and Watch the traffic go by, and this is right about in the middle. But before we commit to this, um, how are we looking over here? Oh, we're looking fine. Okay, yeah. I just wasn't sure how far out that was going to fit. Okay, so once again, probably straighten our screen up. Right about there looks good, I think. All right, nice. So we should be able to very easily get to these drop-off points uh, if we, you know, end up bringing product to to both of those places. Fantastic. It's looking good, you guys. It's looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. All right, I don't think uh, there's anything else we need to do for Mama Joe. We got our landscaping done and we got our new cell points in place. And yeah, so we're good to go there. And that now gives us an, another place that we can sell all of these products that you, you know, that are flashing by here. Um, and same thing with the supermarket, too. So just a couple more sell points. I've mentioned this to you guys before, but um, no, we don't want to do that. One thing I don't really agree with the, the base game is that the game makes you buy sell points for substantial money, like 60000 bucks 
um, the market was eighty thousand bucks, but you don't own it. So all your all it does is it's you know it's somebody else's business, and it's you know it gives you a place to sell stuff, sure, but um, you know, think about Mama Joe's farmers market. I mean, we've only sold stuff to this market maybe three to four times in the two years since it's been there. And, you know, the other places have still had the better prices. So if I had invested this in this with my own money, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be a little bit irked about how that works. So that's why I role play Mama Joe buying these things uh, because I'm not going to buy them. I, I don't think I should have to do that. Um, or either that or, if, you know, if we do have to buy them, then, you know, maybe give us like a share uh, part ownership so, you know, we can share in some of the profits. But it kind of doesn't make sense to do that because we're the only entity in a single player game anyways that's selling to it it would make more sense in a multiplayer game eh? i guess but all right nevertheless we are good to go how's it going there buddy you must be in a bad mood uh cool so we have these two new sell points um this is neat mama joe's got a restaurant and a supermarket now i wish we could go into these places um there are some modded buildings that you can actually go inside of but nothing in the base game San Giovanni Neapolitan Pizza. Wait a minute. Did I put the pizza place down? I thought I was putting the restaurant down. Hold on. Hold the phone. That looks like the pizza place. <laughs> I put the wrong thing down, didn't I? All right. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We still have $928,000 to play with here. For Pete's sake, man. I thought I was putting the restaurant down. No, that does say restaurant. But it says pizza on the thingamadoodle. Um, yeah, that is that's this is the pizzeria, and it's definitely a different building. It's kind of a nice looking building. So we did it. We put the right thing down. It's just for confusing me. And you know what? Actually, while we're in this place, we need to rename these. Um, so we're gonna just call this MJ's Market. Actually, MJ's Mini Mart. Uh, we should probably put an apostrophe in there, too. MJ's Mini... M no. We're going to six. Hold on. There we go. MJ's Mini Mart. Nice. Okay, and this is going to be... Uh, we're going to call this MJ's Bistro. Bistro and pizza. <laughs> okay. MJ's Bistro and pizza. And of course, you know, the reason we want to do that is so that when we are looking in the sell menu um, for both of those places, I think, take uh, eggs. See, we can we can see now that that's what they are. So it makes it a little, a little more uh, easy for us to follow. And actually, it looks like, uh, well, no. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Um, and I believe we are finished with December. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here in December. Uh, nothing came up in the sales, uh, which uh, does happen on occasion. Uh, so there's not anything for us to do there. We got a partial pallet of eggs there, which I'm just going to leave there. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to, this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, uh, but I am going to wrap it up here because in the next episode, we're going into January and we're going to have massive sales to do. And, oh, oh you know what? We, we better set our money back. <laughs> uh, so let's see. What was that figure again? 77,134. 77,134. There. Okay, so that sets our money back to that exact amount. It's just easier to do it that way than trying to keep track of what I spent and what I didn't and all that sort of thing um, when I'm doing work for Mama Joe. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for December, guys. Um, so in the next episode, it'll be January, and it'll be selling month. And um, I'm expecting to make some decent money. I still haven't decided exactly what we're going to do with all of the money. I've got a couple of ideas, but I want to give them a little more thought before I introduce those ideas to you guys. Um, so yeah, 
that is pretty much it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in January, where we're going to make lots of money. Bye-bye.